Hi everyone, this is ZF Mazibuba. I'm going to take you through Engineering Science N3 and we're going to do Module 8 which is Chemistry. Let's define Chemistry. It is a branch of science concerned with substances of which matter is composed and the investigation of their properties and reaction and the use of such reactions to form new substances. Let's take matter. It is anything that occupies a space and it has a mass. And an element is a pure substance, which means it's the substance that cannot be broken down into any simpler form. Atoms are smallest part of an element. They consist of electrons that are negative, protons that are positive, neutrons that are neutral, and the nucleus that is positive. Compounds and alloys are metals or metals that combine with one or more other elements. I've just took some of the compounds and alloys for examples. Water is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen. Table salt is the combination of sodium and chlorine. Sulfuric acid is the combination of hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen. Hydrochloric acid is the combination of hydrogen and chlorine. Brass is the combination of copper and zinc. Medium carbon steel is the combination of carbon and copper. When a metal undergoes a change, which is rust, we call that corrosion. This is caused by a metal dissolved in an acid or a composition between metal, oxygen, and moisture. Electrochemical corrosion occurs when an electrolytic cell is formed. How do we prevent corrosion? By painting by applying oil or grease, by electroplating, or by protecting a metal with a layer of brick. The atom. The mass of the atom is total in the core, which is nucleus. This is the part that we call a nucleus, which is positive. The volume is contributed by the electrons. The electrons are in the outer layer, which are orbits, and they are negative. An atom is electrical neutral because the number of protons in the nucleus is equal to the number of electrons in the orbit. The number of electrons in any shell is determined by 2n squared. The periodic table of elements. This is where all elements are presented. On our left hand side, we've got metals. On the steps, we've got the metalloids with mustard color and on our right hand side you've got the non-metals i've took some metals and non-metals as examples for metals i've took iron copper aluminium zinc tin lead gold silver etc for non-metals i've took oxygen sulfur hydrogen carbon nitrogen chlorine etc the four categories of elements, noble gases, elements of the main group, transition elements, and the inner transition elements. Let's take one workout from question 8, April 2019. A, what is an ion? It is an electrically charged atom. B, State three different types of corrosion. We've got a pure chemical corrosion. We've got surface corrosion. And we've got a pure electrochemical corrosion. C. State two properties of brass. Brass is tough and it is a good conductor of electricity. Work out two from question eight, March 2016. A. Name two precautions to keep moisture and water away from metals which can corrode. By painting the metal or by applying oil or grease. B. Name the chemical composition of the following compounds. Limestone or marble, caustic soda. For limestone, that is calcium carbonate. For caustic soda, that is sodium hydroxide. C. Name non-metal 
which is the good conductor of electricity, that is carbon. D, name one property of solder. It has a low melting point. We count to three, which is question nine in November 2016. Make a neat labeled sketch and describe the functions of electrolysis. This is the sketch that represents electrolysis where you will need a battery, a switch, copper wire, galvanometer, platina blade, which will have an anode and a cathode, a glass of container with electrolyte. An ionized solution or molten metal salt complete an electric circuit between the two electrodes. When the electrodes are connected to a source of direct current, current one called cathode becomes negatively charged while the other called the anode becomes positively charged. The positive ions in the electrolyte will move towards the cathode and the negatively charged ions towards the anode. This migration of ions through the electrolyte constitutes the electric current in that part of the circuit. The migration of electrons in the anode through the wiring and an electrical generator and then back to the cathode constitute the current in the external circuit. Workout 4, which is question 8 in July 2015. Name two methods to combat corrosion. B. Neatly copy and complete the following table in the answer book. To combat corrosion, we can electroplate by zinc or tin or by applying grease or oil. For completing the table, hydrochloric acid is the combination of hydrogen, chlorine and oxygen. Table salt is the combination of sodium and chlorine. Sulfuric acid is the combination of hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen. Limestone is the combination of calcium, carbon, and oxygen. Workout 5, question 8 of April 2015. Describe the following types of corrosion and give the practical example of each. A. Pure chemical corrosion. Pure corrosion takes place when a bare surface comes into contact with an acidic or caustic liquid of gas. A typical example is when a battery acid gets onto bare with metals part in the engine compartment. B. Pure electrochemical corrosion. A typical example is an original dry battery cell of the kind used in torches and radios, and when the current flows through the cell, the zinc oxidizes and flows as the zinc ions in the solution through the electrolyte to combine with the manganese dioxide. The zinc container becomes thinner and thinner as the metal decays from oxidation until it may open a place and let some of the electrolytes leak out. This is the end of Module 8. Goodbye.